What's going on everyone? Pause here and welcome to a series I am dubbing Lit or Shit. Where the premise is we play a game for 15 to 20 minutes and we, well, determine whether it's lit or shit. And the very first game that is up on the chopping block is Small Radio's Big Television, which was developed by Fireface Corporations and published by Dolph Swim Games. This game is available both on the PS4 and PC. And on PC, it is priced $12.99. Not entirely certain what it is on the PS4 because when I'm given the option to play a game on console or PC, hashtag PC Master Race. So anyways, let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy this brand new series and let's find out if this game is lit or shit. Very, the colors are very, very friggin' vibrant here. But yes, welcome everyone to Small Radios, Big Televisions. Not entirely, oh, if we look up, it goes up. If we look down, looks like we click on some things. But yes, this is a game, like I said, that was uh, published by, I, I almost wanted to say Small Rock Studios. What the heck is Small Rock Studios? Adult Swim Studios, which I, I really, really enjoy them as a, as just like a publisher, they 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 tend to take on games that are a little bit more riskier for uh, from like other developers and all that. So I'm I always get a little excited whenever I see uh, a game that's developed by or published rather by by uh, Adult Swim. So it looks like it's just kind of a little point and click adventure right now. It looks like it's pretty straightforward. We do have a couple doors here. I'm gonna see this one is red, so I'm gonna see whether or not it looks like we can enter it. I thought it may have been like. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be like blocked or something like that, but it looks like we got a little, our first cassette here. So from my understanding, there are 30 of these cassettes and distortion. So I don't know what that means, 60 levels in total, but whenever we click on this, we put that into our old cassette player. Oh my God, old school. All right, well, look at this. I don't know what it is about like these polygons and everything, but I love it, man. I think it makes the game look freaking unique. And like, it's not, oh, it's a little bit loud. I'll turn it down there for you guys. Let's let's click on this and see what it does here. I'm gonna spin in some circles, do some somersaults. Oh. Revisit collected tapes. So what if we put that back in? We we did get like a little little gem there or something like that. Doesn't look like anything has changed. Whoa. Wait, what? You can click on things? Okay. Whoa. Can we click on everything? Not the rocks. This one just looks like trees. Like you can even grab the ones that are slightly not in the the field of view, which is kind of, it's really interesting. Can we grab the clouds? No. Just, just the foliage here. So it did say that we could distort things, but I, I, I'm fairly certain that we might uh, run into that later on. What does this do? We, we still have that. I don't think it does anything. That, I, that, maybe that's just our inventory? Unless, nope. Okay, I thought if we could press spacebar and bring that up and maybe drag the, the jewel, maybe it's a magnet or something like that, who knows? But man, cassette players, those are so old school. I remember the very first cassette I bought was uh, Mortal Kombat. It was such a freaking sick ass cassette, man. Okay, so it looks like these are actually keys. So we just put that in there like that. Okay, so it's all coming up Millhouse now. A little bit more straightforward there. Click to rotate. Okay, looks like we can only rotate one way here. Can we click on that door? I don't know, like, I I don't know if these all lead to the same place or not. It looks like it does. Maybe we gotta rotate a little bit more. Can 
Can we only go to those two side? Those two sides. I don't know why I said Zoids. What the hell was that? Okay, so that's where we just came from. Can we click on anything else? So it looks like yeah, it looks like there's only two sides here. What the heck? What about this one? That's where we just came from, is it not? It isn't. Maybe. Okay. We can't click and drag the map. Alright, well, there's a little handle here. Let's switch that on. Work! Work, 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 work. Alright. Oh, we got ourselves another tape here. I'm trying to see... Okay, so it looks like there's... Like a building being constructed with something here. I'm, I'm curious of, as to whether or not these are, like, maybe hints or what we'll see on the cassette. I don't know. We'll see. Let's check it out here. Man, I love the colors they use in this. They make it feel very old, like using the kind of like washed out colors almost. Oh. Do we have to grab that right away? Okay, no. So I assume, like I said, we're gonna probably find something later on down the road that will probably allow us to distort, because it says that we can distort. It's just, I don't know how we distort it. Let's put that up there. We click on any of these vents. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. And also, that that picture looked like it had nothing to do with uh, the tape. Maybe, maybe the, in the distorted version. Who knows? What about here? Watch your step. All right. So it doesn't look like. I wonder how linear it like it is. Like if I click on. Okay, zero one zero. Okay, these. Oh God, I'm clicking it way too many times. There we go. Sorry, I think ambulance was driving by. So there we go. Look, it, I all I knew is one had or this one had to be either up or down. So you know. Through the uh, the mathematics of elimination, I somehow I'm just shutting up. All right, let's go up here. Looks like we got ourselves another cassette. Looks like there's that work symbol with the the cassette here as well. The VU 740. I wonder what that is, or if that changes. Oh, look at it! It's actually going up. I wonder if that's like minutes listened to. Okay. Uh, so far in every, in every version, or every cassette, we have found one of those little jewels. I wonder if there's like one hidden behind here. No, it's just, the, it's just the trees that we can grab. What about this one here? Nope. Hmm. I don't know what that one is. I don't know. Maybe maybe not all of them are uh, have like a little objective to it. I guess we'll find out here if we see a, a jewel thing. Okay, so we do see a jewel thing. However, we also see another door here. It's also weird that like we're almost like walking here. Oh. Oh, is this the distorter? Okay, so let's give this a little whirl here. Let's put this bad boy in its place. Back on the road. Okay, this is... This is very unsettling to say the least. The color, everything just feels kind of like threatening right now. It's not cool. I'm not vibing with this, man. I want out. Let's check out Forrest. Let's see how messed up Forrest got. There we go. Let's put this one in. See, this one, I like this one. 
I might be a little bit biased. My favorite thing is purple, so kind of seeing the trees being all purple. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Man, this, this is definitely one of those games that... I don't know, there's some games where you could just like kind of turn off your brain and just kind of walk through it and just enjoy the aesthetics like this. Like, I don't know, I could just sit here even like when I'm not recording or whatever, just just kind of poking things, pulling things back, listening, looking. And this feels like one of those games here. Let's check out Coast, which honestly are kind of one of my favorite games. Oh, look at it. Okay, so now we distorted that one. We got the the little little gem here. That is really interesting. That is really cool. Okay, so obviously with us distorting it, as you guys can kind of see, the rocks kind of jutted up, and these ones also kind of exploded. So I guess under one of the the rocks was hidden this little gem here. Okay, so it all makes sense. Now I'm wondering, can we distort it a second time? Like, will it become more distorted? Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so now let's go to, to forest. Let's see what, let's see what we are presented. No, oh, it all feels the same. Okay, so it looks like we can only distort it once. So obviously, what probably is the, uh, the best action for this is to go through all the tapes regularly, and then obviously, I don't think I need to explain that, but you know, some people may not get it. I don't get it. Okay, so now we have this little jewel. We can put that up there and now leave. Now, excuse me while I take a quick drink of this kombucha. My wife's got me on it. Oh, shit! Yo, we got a bridge out of there! Oh man, it's so weird. It feels like, I forget the exact phrase, but it, it's like a micro shot, if I'm not mistaken, like where you like move your lens and all that, and it makes everything kind of look very miniature. That's that's the feeling I got there watching the, the bridge. It kind of looked far away and tiny, but big at the same time. What were they built for anyways? They never actually told me. Optimism, I guess. To give people a sense that things could get better, that somehow everything could be normal again one day. I guess they didn't convince you. It was empty. There wasn't a person in sight. Whatever they're trying to do, they gave up fast. So they were. What? Trying to... Air? Supposedly filtered the air, the water, anything they could do to keep the population from plummeting. The worst part is I think people working there believed it was possible. I mean, why else would you spend your life in a place like that? Maybe they just wanted to find purpose, to feel like they were contributing. You can kind of vaguely hear it, but I'm just reading over it just because some people may not hear it. I just think they found something that was more compelling. So we had a little conversation there. I'm, I'm not too sure if it was like people though. Obviously it was like human. They were talking about humans it felt like. God, I love the colors in this game. Okay, let's click on this door. Caution, falling. Rewind, unrewind. Okay, so rewind and unrewinding. Ah, looks like we're, things are gonna get a little bit more complicated here in terms of puzzles, which is not good. I'm very terrible at puzzles. Okay. Let's move that there. And then...
Okay, I'm not too sure exactly how I'm supposed to do this, but I didn't I didn't really notice because I didn't look up. But if we look up, we actually have two doors up here. So I'm assuming that I was kind of like overthinking it. I was like, maybe do I gotta line it up when it gets loud like that? But let's go check out these doors up here. Let's see what they have to to offer us. Maybe they will uh, be able to to help us out here. Uh, so we can't do that. Okay. So what if we go back out? I want to go to the right. I don't want to go too far right now. Oh. Okay. Move that forward. Oh. <gasps> I see. Can I? Okay. No. Okay, so we can only move one at a time. Okay. I had to see whether or not, like, if I can move these just to make everything a little bit more accessible there. Okay, so we should be able to bring this one up now? Nope. Not at all. Okay, we can move that one. Oh! Just move it ever so slightly. Come on! Oh, God. Oh, it's so difficult. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. We finally did it. I don't know why I couldn't get it to stick at all, man. It was just like taking forever there. Field. Just a bunch of corn. Bunch of, not corn, it's like wheat. So this one kind of, let's see, can we take, oh, we can take a higher look. Okay. What about really low? Huh. So I assume this is one we're probably gonna see being changed and maybe a little bit more viable during uh, distortion. That sounds so weird. Oh, I love this game so far. It's it's so unique, it's just, it's weird, I love it. All right, so. Man, we're just gonna be going through all these doors here, I guess. Uh, what's this? It looks like we can almost like drop something there or something with like that. Just such a weird little drop. Oh, it looks like there is a ladder there. Okay, so I guess we could brush this one, right? See what happens here. All right, let's give this one a little play. I forget, scrub-a-dub-dub. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Okay, this is so cool, man. I can't, can I grab these trees? Can I grab anything here? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, well, obviously not useful. However, very fucking trippy. See, this is what I mean, like, I love, like, just experience, like, to me, this is, like, it's not just a game. For me, this may sound, like, more profound than it, it it's, it's not really that profound, but I, I mean, like, it's just, it's an experience, you know? You get to, like, just, I don't know, visually see everything and just, it's so neat. Let's go up here. Okay, looks like we have like a cassette somewhere maybe here. At least this is showing a cassette. There's a lot of gears here I've noticed. I kind of like I wonder if that resembles like little uh wheels. I don't know what they're actually called in in um on cassettes, but like those little spools. Okay, so we got a little, another little little house. That, have we been here? We've definitely been here. Can we 
Okay, it doesn't look like we can... We can rotate it yet. So let's go back up. I don't... Because I don't think this is uh, completed yet. Okay, rewind, unrewind, pause, and pause. I guess that's my cousin or something like that. Huh. This one still doesn't make any sense. I think... Where do we go? Do we go to the right? Yeah, I guess we did because we went down here. I'm actually wondering... Let's see. I'm wondering if we... Let's go back here for a second. Like, what if we bring this over here? And I'm probably overthinking this. Put that there. Have this here. And see whether or not this wheel over here gets turned on now. It doesn't. Damn it. I really wanted that to work. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I don't know why I decided to come back over here. Right here. This was still powered on. Which then made this little gear over here not active. So now this is open. Now we can finally progress a little bit. Oh my god. It took me a little bit. It took me a little bit. Uh Oh, there's a cassette up there. I was like, is there anything? <laughs> I just saw it just floating up there. The... Arboretum? Arboretum? Is that even a word? Is there anything up top? I don't see anything. I feel like this is one that we need to distort. Alright, let's let's leave that cassette. Let's go back to the very beginning. I don't think there's anything else here. It doesn't look like I could click on anything. So let's head on back. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's one up here. Then we go down here. Oh, or we close the door, apparently. Nope, I guess. Oh, there's so there. I think there's two here, and I'm just getting confused as to where they are. I think this is one right here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we got two cassettes that are distorted. Obviously, one is still kind of useless, the um, the field, but the arboretum, which I refuse to believe is a real word, which it probably is. It probably isn't, though. So, but I assume there's probably going to be something here on the tree. Yeah, if you take a look here, look at that. Oh. Oh, that one's weird. That one's weird. All right, so we do, like I said, there's two doors. I think one's up here. Is it? It's not. Oh, God. Why do I get so confused so easily? Oh, my God. How am I this lost? There we go, finally. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god, guys. This game. I'm going to have some fun with this game. Yo, I feel like this is like the perfect game to check out for the very first series. Shit. Lit or shit. And let me tell you guys this. This is lit. Oh my god. This, like I said, it's a game that you could kind of just like, you know, chill out, mellow out at the end of the night. Just literally just become a couch potato. Just sit back. Click around, listen, look, experience, feel. It's beautiful. This game is so neat. And like I said, it's not really like, it's not like your typical type of game, but I mean, I don't, I never really expect to see typical kind of games from Adult Swim. And I'm really, I, like I said, I have a lot of respect when it comes to Adult Swim games because it feels like they're, they're always more willing to take, uh, you know, the risks in checking out other, other games like this. And 
for 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 this this is lit like i said if you guys want to check this out the link is in the description down below and it's gonna be like that regardless some people may think it's lit some people may think it's shit what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below and i shall talk with you guys in the next one peace out girl scouts